Let's go! Woo! Hey! Yo. <laughs> let go, let go! Are you in my hand and now you won't go? Uh. Tell me something all the others can't know. Uh. I'll tell you all the things you were never told. Uh. Never told. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Put your weight on my shoulders I'm not letting you down You should come over We're skipping the crowd You know I could love you like you're all mine Oh so good to be back Oh my uh, uh. You be on my mind like this Put a 9 to 5 on your wrist Sorry <laughs> We can go to my place Stuff is still kinda, you know you one, two, three, four, hey, 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 Way too long. 6.05 a.m. Haven't had sleep. Wonderful. I just realized. Yo. One, two, one, two, three. Let's go. Hey. Of course it's back. Look, you be on my mind like this. You be on my mind like this. Put a nine to five on you. We can go to my place. Wait, you be on my mind like one, two, three. What about it? Have you been following the channel? This is my computer. So what is what am I streaming on? <laughs> it's a totally different computer. This is another iMac. <laughs> I have two iMacs here. One, this one, which was giving me trouble for the last two weeks. So I got so desperate, I bought a new iMac. I got desperate. I was out of work for two weeks. I'm like three weeks behind. I'm like three weeks behind in work, content, all that stuff. So I, I'm like, I can't take it anymore. I bought a new iMac. But then guess what? I found out what the problem is for, the, for this one. Do you wanna know what the problem is for this iMac? Do you wanna know? I'll show it to you right now. It's so annoying. One little thing, one little thing. This was the entire problem. This was the entire problem. This little cheap stick of RAM made it so that my computer crashed every time I streamed, every time I did it, an intense program of music or usually graphic stuff. So streaming, editing, I couldn't do squat. I thought it was my software. I reinstalled everything. It was still giving me problems. I bought this brand new iMac and I put this RAM in there. I didn't know. Then the brand new iMac was crashing. The brand spanking new out of the box, not even returned. Nobody's touched it except me. Started crashing as soon as I turned it on because of this little piece of freaking don't buy Time Tech RAM for IMAX. Do not buy Crucial. Okay? So now I have two computers. <laughs> hi, hi, guys. Hi. 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 First of all, hi. 
it just feels good to be back. It feels great. It feels awesome. I'm glad you guys didn't forget about me. Um, <laughs> I was a little bit worried because, and I still have to upload a video. I meant to do one this yesterday, actually. I wanted to do one about backing up your data. And then I wanted to do a video about doing maintenance on your computer to like make sure this probably it won't get a lot of views but people it's stuff people need to know musicians listen if you experience a crash for your 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 computer or whatever there's ways to fix it easy ways like replacing the ram so i do have to make a video about doing that kind of stuff because that's an important part of the music journey if you lose all your stuff i thought i lost all my music but i didn't um but but that's an important part i don't think enough all people talk about on youtube is making music that's why i talk about more than just making music now because when this happens to somebody else they're gonna go out and do what i did buy a whole new computer when literally it's just the ram just replace the ram buddy <sighs> feels so good to be back let me have a chip i had one of these cranberry white claw White claw wasted. We're not wasted though. So let me greet everybody. Hold on, I had to get that out. Dang. Torah starting it off already. Okay. So. This is crazy. This feels nice. It almost feels like I'm not even here. We got Taurus, we got Silver Fox, we got John. What's up? There's another John with an H. <laughs> we got Amazing Amber. Hi, I'm new, but I subscribed like last week. What's up, Amber? Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for checking me out. Welcome to the family. I do these live streams weekly. Um, so we got a little, we got a nice little crew um, that comes every Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific time. So if you want to be a part of that crew, it would be lovely. Eventually, I want to get to the point to where this is like 1,500 people, 15,000 people, 150,000 people in here watching me do this and make music live. Um, but until then, it's the 35 of us, and I hope you come back for the next ones. What's up, Malik? Finally on time. Um, Peanut Toaster Gamer. Listen, Peanut Toaster Gamer, I just got done playing some Apex Legends. You should add me on... Well, you should get Apex Legends if you don't have it. And then you should add me. Taurus, thank you so much for starting things off. Um, there is there is the reviews going on today. I got to make some money because I've been out of work for two weeks. So if you guys want to get your music reviewed, uh, the link is right there. You can also super chat $20. I'm doing like a little sale still because I'm back into, the, back into things. So 20% off. Man, oh man, it's crazy. Um, let me greet everybody else. Man's got a new iMac. Yes, man's got a new iMac that he didn't need because all I needed was legit RAM. I bought a new iMac because I was at a loss for what to do. I didn't think about replacing I The RAM is brand spanking new. The RAM is not even six months old. So that's why I'm like, it can't be the RAM. This is what happens when you buy off of Amazon. So do not, buy, if you buy off of Amazon, buy from a trusted brand. This Time Tech stuff, I bought it because another YouTuber that does iMac stuff, it was Max Tech. They're very reliable, but maybe they just had all good experiences with Time Tech. This is literally the first piece of RAM I've ever purchased from them and it failed after six months. So I'm never gonna buy from them ever again, only Crucial. So I have this new iMac. <laughs> And my old iMac, there's nothing wrong with it. It was literally just the RAM. So now I have 16 gigs in there. I'm thinking to myself, sorry if this is just a big stream of me talking. I haven't been on live stream in two weeks. So if I just talk, it's gonna happen. I have two iMacs now. There's, there's a dilemma. Part of me wants to sell this one, the old one, because it's not covered by Apple Care. This one is though, because it's brand new. I just bought it. I wanna sell this one. There's nothing wrong with it uh, because I replaced the RAM. Um, to get my money back for this one that I bought. But then at the same time, I'm like, well, maybe I'm supposed to have two. <laughs> maybe the reason why this happened is because I'm supposed to have multiple IMAX because this is what's starting off my, my academy. 
where I want to have all Mac computers. So I'm like, do I keep it? Do I keep it for like clients who come over and want to learn how to do stuff? I have like a little, I'll have like a little area where they can come and learn and try it on their own computer, not this one so that they don't screw this one up. I don't know. I'm probably going to sell it, but I thought about keeping it just because, uh, yeah. Anyway. All right. Ford Tucker. Amber is back in here. Terrell. <laughs> Sorry. Um, sorry, I'm really catching up. Robert Martin, what's up? It's KJ, what's up? Level Up Tech. I've been waiting for so long. Wait, for what, the stream? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Jens, what's up? Do you got a new Mac? Yes, I did, I just told the story. <sighs> Hello, Donna. Chica, what's up? Dang, I'm way behind. Ebenezer. <sighs> Excuse me. Daniel, what's up? The more the merrier. Now I have three computers. I have two iMacs, I have a MacBook, I have an iPad. I have all Apple stuff. My camera is literally sitting on an AirTag packaging so that it props it up, you know. Are you wanting to make make one make one what? Dang, how behind am I? Good lord, I would honestly cry if I lost all my music. <laughs> M1 MacBook Air 2020, that's a really, 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 really good computer, especially for the price. You're a cool guy, thank you so much. I'll battle you. Wait, what? What's going on? <laughs> What's up, JR? Good to see you back, man. Uh, last year I literally lost everything, my drum kits, my VSTs. I actually lost my, um, I lost my entire catalog probably twice in my life. Um, and this was all on my, you know, before I became like an adult. This was still in high school, but it was very frustrating. I lost all my stuff because I was using LimeWire to download music illegally. And I paid the price. <laughs> it's my Kim K in advance by Taurus. Okay, I will check that out. Hey, Kelly! What's up, princess? Um, bro, can you help me? Help you with what? I help everybody. Tiffany, what's up? Uh, Verin, how do I say name? Virinder, Virinder. I'm from San Diego, but it's San with a six and Diego with a one and a nine. Any voice related tips? Depends what you want to learn. I have a bajillion tips for vocals. I have a bajillion videos about vocals, um, but it depends what you know and it depends what you want to learn and all that good stuff. Just scratching the surface. There's so much I can. You're still live on the gaming channel. Oh, I am? Oh. Hello, gaming channel. I'm still live. I, I did. I forgot. I got to stop sh <laughs> streaming on two different channels right now simultaneously. I forgot I even started a stream on the gaming channel. See, this is, this is, this is what happens when you haven't worked for so long. Is it recording? Yeah, this is what happens when you haven't worked for so long. You kind of like force yourself to do a bunch of stuff and go into overdrive. I'm like streaming on two different devices. Um, wait, where I just saw something. I just, it was from Chica. She said, I just don't know what I'm gonna do. Wait, about what though? How did you connect your Novation launch key with machine software? You just plug it in and go to preferences and connect it. It's very simple. Plug and play, that's it. Analog is a gold. Not sure what you're referring to. If Apple makes a camera now, I have to silence this. Do not disturb me, please. And I also don't want my notifications popping up on my screen while I'm recording, because who knows what's gonna be said. You're an Apple fanboy? Yes, I am. So I have to get a Mac Pro for what? No, your M1 is, is, is stronger than my $3,000 MacBook Pro. Your M1 is way stronger than my M1 MacBook Pro. Um, I'd say the only computer that's 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 uh, better than a an M1 Mac right now is going to be these these iMacs with the um, at least thirty. You got to have thirty two gigs of RAM, and you got to have the eight core processor, not the six core, but the eight core. You can have the, the i7 or the i9. The i9 does have some heating problems. It throttles because it's so, you know, 
but I just got the the i7. This sucks. I can't get a new Mac. Wait, but why do you want to get a new Mac? Hey, Sophie, what's up, Sophie? What's up, Anthony? Happy birthday, Sophie! You guys watch more. You guys watch Wild Thornberries, right? Anyway, that's like, I lost like four people after I went on that rant <laughs> just now. <laughs> as soon as I started doing Wild Thornberries, I forgot his name. Four people left. Um, My parents got me a MacBook Pro on my birthday last year and I love using it. Spot on. <laughs> my Mac is giving me trouble. Like I have at least four different hard drives. My RAM is bad storage. It's shot when I have, wait, wait, this is on the M1? No, no, that can't be on the M1. You, that just came out. What's the plan today? We, I have no idea. I just wanted to get on the stream. It's going to be kind of short, at least short for me. You know I'll be doing these eight-hour, six-hour, seven-hour marathons. Today is probably going to be about four, maybe four and a half, because I do have to go to a performance of my little brother uh, where it's going to be like this amphitheater. And we watch him do this show called Once on this Island, which is a family relic. We were all a part of that show except for me, actually. I wasn't part of that show. It's a musical, and it's in this amphitheater. You get to eat and drink and do all kinds of stuff outside. I'm probably going to have a little spliff before I go inside. You know what I'm saying? A little spliff, a little drinky drink, a little something, something while I'm watching the show, a little colors and stuff like that. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be so nice. Um, <laughs> What is happening? So, yeah, I'm going to be reviewing music. Actually, we need to pull up Taurus' this song right now. We already have a submission, so we're doing music reviews because i got to make money. I've been out of work for two weeks. Mercury retrograde. Okay, listen, guys. If you guys believe in astrology, or if you don't, uh, the stuff is real. Mercury retrograde. That stuff is real. All. <laughs> listen. As soon as the retrograde hit, I started having computer problems. Mercury retrograde is known for jacking up communications, and and technology and travel plans. I had to postpone my travel plans. Number one, because the UK basically shut down again. There's the variants going nuts. Then I had to, my, my freaking RAM died on my Mac, but I didn't know that that was a problem. It just kept crashing on me for two weeks. Um, so canceled travel plans, tech failing, my phone kept shutting off. This is all brand new stuff. It's not even a year old, not even six months old. Astrology is real. Planetary, everything, retro. Oh my gosh, I, I just want to say so much. I want to say so much. I learned so much. Um, but the, the whole purpose of a Mercury retrograde is to get you to slow down, reflect, and listen to just what's going on. Reflect, learn. And I learned I need to slow down sometimes. So two days out of the week. I haven't taken a break in two years. It took my computer shutting down for me to take a break for more than a day. It's been two years, maybe more. So I took like a week and a half to two week break. So now what I'm gonna be doing is taking breaks every two days out of the week. One day is gonna be totally nothing and the other day is gonna be kind of just like planning stuff. But man, my next video, I'm gonna, I have to talk about this retro, I have to. Uh, I think you need a woman more than me. I have a woman, she's in the chat right now. What are you talking about? Just purchase a song. <laughs> Uh, review from your site. I'm um, cruising my chat. Okay, let me get into this stuff before I get behind. I don't want to get behind. All right, so let's jump right into it. We're going to review music. Um, if I'm feeling it, we're going to jump into me recording. Um, recording some of these songs that I haven't listened to in two weeks. Let me log into my... Did you... Let me see which one is sent to. I forget which email. If it's legends only or if it is. That's May 22nd. What in the world? Legendary submissions, I believe. Are we going to unite the Korean Peninsula today, Hoodie? That was a dope live stream. That was. <laughs> This song you could unite the Korean Peninsula. <laughs> Taurus, where did you send your song to? It's not in my submissions and it's not in my legends only. Where where'd you send it to? 
My regular email? No, I don't think it's my regular email. Where'd you send it to, bro? Oh, you didn't send it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, when is the album dropping? I have no idea. I literally just just got back in the flow of things. I still want it to drop before the summer's over, because if it's not, if I want to try and make it a summer project, if it can't be a summer project, it definitely needs to be Legend of the Fall. Since you guys think I look like the weekend so much, it's got to be a fall or or winter. It can't go into spring. It can't go into to to next summer. It's got to be within the next six months. I'm looking at the next three though. Hopefully the next three. What's up, French? Ouch. Hey, I am Legend X, Professor X collab is inevitable. Professor X, oh snap, are we gonna are we gonna get together the, the school of gifted young children? Probably taking another decade. Nah, not even, not even. If anything, I'm motivated to finish this stuff within the next two weeks. I don't, that's not gonna happen. I'm not, don't quote me on that, but I want to, I would love to. Um, I had to take a break. My father died two weeks later. My grandma died, and then I'm starting to have problems in my marriage. Bro! Okay, hold on, 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 hold on. This was all recently? It had to be recently. First of all, um, hi, Anna. My condolences to you for your losses. Those are some huge losses, your grandmother and your father. Um, I'm, I'm very sorry for those losses. I'm very sorry that you've had to deal with that. I mean, believe me, I, I mean, I've experienced loss from like my grandpa, but this was like when I was a little, little tight. So I couldn't fully grasp this, the situation. But I know it's it's not easy at all, especially when it's somebody that close or that that you know. Um, and then we just had that stream not even too long ago where my high school friend. So there's not really m much you can say to one person when it comes to loss, other than the usual it's it's very cliche but it's cliche because it's true it's to 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 just be grateful for the time that they had here the time that you spent with them the relationships established the lessons learned um and this goes for anybody whether the, your relationships with these people were bad or good there was always something to learn there's always something to hold on to and keep um, so I do want to offer my condolences to you for those losses and we're here we're a family we're gonna we're gonna just we're gonna make we're gonna make as things are for me when I come on here and I do my streams and I, I'm sad or whatever like we're gonna make sure that we celebrate we have a good time and I'm this is and I hope you don't take this I don't you don't take this as a negative thing or something you know but we're gonna have a good time. And by good time, I mean just to celebrate life. We're gonna celebrate. Uh, I was just talking about this. Like I have these questions, this box of questions that um, me and Kelly do. It's called Better Together. It's one of those couple like ask each other questions thing. And one day it was asking a bunch of morbid questions like, what's something that you would recommend people do before they die? and. Um, what would your last meal be? Like stuff like that. It was all, I chose them at random, but they were all having to do with that topic. And so I feel like, you know, that wasn't for no reason. We're all here. What's up, Morgane? When's the last time you threw a rave in a... <laughs> Come on, man. Throw a rave in that game. Yeah, I'm ready to celebrate with you, bro. We only live once. We only live once. I don't have, I was gonna have um, some drinks for the stream because I'm so happy to be back, but I only had one, I drank it. So my, uh, my unwinder for today is gonna be the spliff, the spliffy diff. So we're gonna, 
take one for the memory. Um, I do have two submissions so far. So Taurus, he just sent his in. Oh, man. But this is why we do this. We do this so we can connect, especially in a time where, I mean, we're getting back to normal. I've been going into the stores without my mask on because I am vaccinated. So I can do that now freely. It's so weird, but we're getting back to normal. But even there's still, you know, the world's not perfect right now. And I don't think it'll ever be the same. But I come here so we can chill. We can unwind. If there's stuff we want to talk about, we can talk about it. If there's problems we're having, we can talk about the problems. Um, I don't just go live just because it's fun or just because I want to get paid or just because, you know, I do this because of the connection. So the human aspect of things is first and foremost, always want to look out for, for the folks who are dealing with anything in here. Um, that's why I also give out my number and that's why I go live. So what did you miss? Some, um, Anthony rockers, his grandma and his father passed within two weeks of each other. That's that's why it's, you know. How am I feeling about getting vaccinated? If it means I can go places without wearing a mask, it's fine. I know a lot of people have these... Um, conspiracy theories like they're putting microchips and 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 micro machines and, and race cars and the vaccines and they're injected into your blood and they got these little spiders walking around your veins and they're about gonna you know it's all that stupid stuff listen if the nsa or anybody else wants to know where you are they're gonna find where you are. it doesn't matter if the stuff is in the vet there's these companies the reason why they're so Folk like, please get a vaccine. We're going to give you a car and guns. Like in America, at least. The reason why, it's not because they're trying to brainwash people in MK Ultra and all that nonsense. It's because they need money. The reason why it's so tough, because companies can't make money if people can't get life back to normal, can't go shopping. They don't want to go to the stores. They don't want to go to the movies. That's why all these companies are offering incentives. It's not to brainwash us. It's not to take over the world. It's because of money. I wish more people would, would think about that. Now, I took the vaccine. Um, I wanted to wait because I do have asthma and also it's it's a new thing. For the freaking swine flu, I waited like eight years, no, four years before I took the swine flu vaccine. Four years, but this one, I did it right off the bat. I figured if I'm gonna, if it's gonna turn me into a lizard or it's gonna melt my heart, then that's gonna be the way I go. But I can't be sitting around like locked in my house for the rest of my life. Either I'm going to die a, a short and fulfilling life well, or a long fulfilling life. There's no, I, I'm not, I'm here for a good time. Okay. So if a, if a vaccine is, is that way, so be it. Of course money's a scam, but that's the way the world works. That's the world we live in until people get the realization that it is a scam. Let me turn on my lights. I feel like we should just exist as people. It would be so much easier, but you know. <sighs> wait, sent, 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 wait, 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 what am I, sent mine, bitch. Uh, let me, okay, let me get into this first song before I do anything else. So the first song is called, um, My Kim K in Vans by Torres. My Kim K in Vans. Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Apple Music. Here we go. First song of the day. Two dollars and I put it to my name. Poor me, girls used to ignore me. Like a scam call, see me bar. Now they want to call Square Bear Kid. Now popping lids, stacking chips. Baby mama's with big hips and DSL lips. 32 ounce model. 
low, smoking green goblin. Get him noggin', speak a Chevy knockin'. Her friends, cock blockin'. No kids, and she got a job that's shocking. Baby mama like problems, we all got them. Caviar and paper Church plates, so many jealous people hate, broken and insane. I'm all out of cocaine. Do you feel my pain in the world of monsters? Can you be human with me? Chanel, bitches, fucking video vixen, smoking wedding cake, all my smiles are fake, resting bitch faces, all I know how to do at your wake, I'll be smoking for you, when did MTV get so empty, Kim K and Vans, Ray Bans, tattoos on her hands, golden butt plug, heart shaped rug, heart shaped rug, baby got a heart shaped rug, blah, blah, I thought it said something else, bitches like rock, Wait, 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 wait. Heart shape rug. Baby got a heart. I thought it said <laughs> see, we're getting right back to the antics. I thought she said heart shape. Do I wanna say it? I thought she said heart heart shaped plug. Shape rug. Blah blah blah. Bitches like rah rah rah. Always. I'm a little blown. Why don't you answer your phone? I'm all and the reason why there's so much good music on this channel is because we give everybody a chance and we play their full songs. I'm gonna always talk about that until my dying day. On this channel, we will never be the people who play two seconds of your song and then we talk about it and then we move on. Well, that's it, what is it? Not around here, it's all love. Alone in my zone, virtually unknown like throw me a bone. Had to beat the streets to get these beats. Peanut butter seats and candy paint all on my car. What is Matt talking about? Matt, what are you talking about? What's wrong with sponsorships? How else do you how else am I supposed to make money? What's wrong with sponsorships? Do you are you giving me money? Money is what makes the world go around. That's how we survive. So me doing this as a job. The reason why you know about me is because I'm able to do this for a living because of sponsorships. So what's wrong with sponsorships? Am I supposed to not take them? I'm supposed to go broke. I'm supposed to not be able to pay my bills. I'm supposed to not buy food on my table and put clothes on my back. I'm supposed to stream butt naked. Bands, tattoos on her hands. Broken ray bands. Take a selfie so you see what I see. When you walk by me, I'm lost in my zone. Looking in my phone. Only fans and fans. <laughs> That was dope. It, oh, it feels so good to be back to, to be able to listen to you guys' stuff. Um, Taurus, 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 Taurus. So I love, the beat was real clean on this. It was real clean. It was real clean. Um, the vocals always, you have that auto-tune. It's like your sound. It's your sound. You always put some auto-tune on your vocal, but it's not in a bad way. Um, I always like the the messaging of your songs and how you're always kind of like telling a story with your lyrics and you don't try to be like anybody else you're you're just you and that's what i like about your stuff so that was that was torres how long was this let me oh yeah it was it was a little short it was a little short but i mean short freaking wicked indeed is i think uh two and a half minutes so no difference. You tell the story, you get in, get out, you don't waste people's time, you just get straight to things, and I like that. It's dope. It's very vibey, yeah, 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 it's very fire as well. I just realized I'm streaming off the Wi-Fi, and usually I don't like doing that because it usually, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything, because if, mm, I learned my lesson. I sent it to you, by the way, as uh, producer. Wrote it, singer, rapper, sketch, and Gia Rochelle, my besties. Okay. My time is very limited. Money is unlimited. If your time is limited, why are you spending it with me? Do you value me that much? Time is time is a, is <laughs> time doesn't exist. Time is is just something we made up to be able to tell the days from the days and the hours from the hours. Time is not real. Everything, stuff is not linear. If you really know, if you really know, life is not linear. 
We just made it that way and we're living that way so we can understand it as humans. But time doesn't even exist. But go go on, go off, I guess. Um I haven't even taken nothing. Like <laughs> it's just just I'm telling you that stuff. You 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 learn a lot. You learn a lot. Listen, you learn a lot when you pay attention. All right, so which one am I? Oh no, we gotta go to my site, actually. Oh, it's been so long, I feel so rusty. I mean, I don't feel rusty, I feel like I'm refreshed, but also I'm not logged into any of my stuff because this is a brand new computer. There we go. <sighs> Come on, log me in, buddy. What you think? Of, the album art is really dope. Um, if if you're talking about what's on this, I don't know if this is for the single for the for the album, but I like this. I love album art that has like the eyes crossed out or eyes blacked out or something on there. It's so like edgy to me I love it I do love that kind of stuff Brian need to help to gain your power <laughs> to gain my power <laughs> you sound like a super villain right now bro I, I want your power <laughs> I'm not giving you my power man I don't know I don't know what you talking about Dr. Freeze you'll never you'll never get me <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that, but uh, <laughs> man, it's been so long. I'm so happy. Oh, what is this? Uh, I'm confused. How am I negative sixty dollars today? That doesn't make any sense. I opened up my site and it says negative sixty dollars. Oh, that's probably from the. Wait, that doesn't make sense though. <sighs> well, we're having a moment. Excuse me while I. relax my mind I've spent enough money I don't need to lose more money I spent enough money um, I'm trying to figure out what it's taken this 60 bucks from there's nothing to take it from what are you smoking on net sales six oh net sale okay I did that refund that should have been a long time ago, though. I already offered that refund. I see. So it's negative 60 because you guys did your two reviews. Okay. Cool, cool. We're fine. We're good. I'm not losing more money, which is a very nice thing to hear when, when there's so much bad news. All right. Let me open up. Don't nobody bring me no bad news. Well, no bad news, no bad news, no bad news, no bad news. T688. All right, this is from Kevin Williams. This one is called I'm Cruising. Are you are you cruising, my friend? Let's see if you're really cruising. I'm cruising. Full times on that back ass fall. Caddy cruising, no flaws. Room gang, okay. Jackie Gus. Ryan Factory, full of nut. Gas they cool. AC cool. Slide through, blowing Cali through. Watch it for the laws. Turning blocks on county streets. I can feel it. Yo. You should, you should put in a Kanye sample right there at that break. I feel it. Get the 
You know what I'm talking about, right? I can feel it. This beat is dope. This beat is really dope. Um, I like these kind of style beats, like. And it's like it's got some really hard uh, drum programming. I like that kind of that kind of. I say the vocals do need to come up. They're a little quiet. Six one nine. Hey. Boom bap, yep. Fire. San Diego. San Diego been done. Way before no limit got on. San Diego, that border county. Parallel to Mexico. Yeah. South East. South East. You plenty period. San Diego be done. Yo! He says Southeast Euclid and Imperial. Hey, y'all don't know nothing about no Euclid and Imperial Four Corners. The Four Corners. They call it the Four Corners of Death because a lot of people have been. Uh... <laughs> it's a rough part of town. I mean, during the day is fine, and even during the night. But San Diego's to say it's a pretty safe place. But there's certain areas you're more inclined to deal with some kind of nonsense. Let's just say that. Euclid and Imperial is one of those places. <laughs> City Heights, uh, Skyline, uh, Lincoln. Um, where else? I don't know that I can think of. Escondido's like petty crime area. I think they, they don't really do all that crazy stuff. They just be stealing folks' bikes and stuff out there. That's, <laughs> you know. Oh, wait. I pressed play on the wrong music. Let's go. I like this I'm Real talk, man. Um. I'm cruising. I'm cruising. I'm cruising. I'm cruising. I'm cruising, I'm cruising, I'm cruising, I'm cruising, cruising. He's cruising, he's cruising. The verdict is he's cruising. Look at my tats. It looks so good on camera. <laughs> and these two. That's why I got the sleeves rolled off. I'm cruising. I need another tat. When is the, the next Friday the 13th? That's when I'm getting my next tat. Where's my calendar at? But that was dope, man. I love I, anything with San Diego in it. It gets my blood going because I'm from here, obviously. I hear these Euclid and Imperial and, and, and people talking about Southeast, all that good stuff. <laughs> Heck yeah, that was dope. I just, I would say the vocals, they need to come up. They were a little low on the verses and kind of on the chorus. Um, 
they need to be more like it's like it's like they're hiding under the beat. The beat is is kind of laid on top of the vocals right now when they should be meshed together. Right now, instead of this, it's more like this. So they do need to come up, but that was dope. That was dope. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so this next one by Chica, that's the one in my email is with the one you want me to listen to, right? You really want a good artist, check out Sunday Rocking on SoundCloud. It's by Legend is Feeling. I'm feeling everything. I'm feeling life. I'm feeling that I'm live right now because it's been so long. I feel so behind because I haven't put out any videos. I haven't, like, I just, ugh, it just feels nice. It feels really nice. Gia Rachel is from San Diego. She's an artist on the track. Okay, okay, San Diego representing the day. Dude, talking about that, I'm getting so frustrated with not being able to mesh vocals with B. I don't know what else to try. What are you trying, Sophie? What are you trying? There's a few ways to do it. My tried and true ways is reverb delay. Those are two of the main ways I, I mesh vocals. Um, a spreader as well, a chorus effect is the same thing. Um, that's another way. Uh, the volume is a big one, obviously. You just wanna make sure it's, you know. And then, and then when you mix, the master, because there's sometimes when you do a mix, the vocals still sound way louder than the beat. The beat sounds all puny in the background, like, oh, this is not gonna turn out right. But the thing is, you have to master it after you mix it, and that pumps up the, the vocals in the end. So sometimes, even in your mix, the beat doesn't hit as hard as the vocals do. And in those cases, that's when you turn to the master, you see what the master brings. I just use Lander. Um, and usually that fixes that issue. It brings up the, the parts of the beat that you want without putting the vocals beneath everything. Just trying panning. Panning's another way, but um, if panning doesn't work by itself, try some reverb, try a delay. It kind of like is the glue. Re reverb is like the glue. The delay is like, uh, you think of a, a suspension bridge. I think of a delay as a suspension bridge with the ropes that tie the sections together between, you know, the little, like the Golden Gate Bridge. It has a little thing right here, then it goes down here to another thing right here, then it goes down to another. The things in between is the delay and the nails holding it together is the reverb. <laughs> That's the way I think of it. Uh, where's Chica? Okay, so the email. We cruising now, we cruising, we cruising. Church, how do you say this, Charnels? It's Charnels, right? Charnels. <laughs> Charnels. You guys can hear that, right? Wait, let me, let me do it again. Church of Charnels. <laughs> Dang, I don't have Spotify on this computer. Um, let me see if I can find it on Apple Music. It should be on Apple Music. I don't have Spotify on any of my computers, to be fair. None of them. <sighs> oh, there you go. There you go right there. Let's give it a whirl. Hey. Number three. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sketch, sketch. Shit, I've been here before. I'm not ready for more. Look like she's ready for war. I'm about to run for the door. Picking me up and then bringing me down. She get in my head and she kicking me out. Think I've had enough, so I'm looking around. Picking it up and I'm dropping it up. Tell me you're sorry, I don't give a fuck. I've been through it all, yeah, I know what's up. You lie through your teeth and you know how to bluff. This is hard. So clean, yeah, yeah, yeah. So clean. Oh, 
It sounds like Kanye, yeah. Picking me up and she bringing me down. She get in my head that she kicking me out. Think I've had enough, so I'm looking around. Picking me up and then bringing me down. She get in my head that she kicking me out. Think I've had enough, so I'm looking around. Getting ready for the battle. She been ready with a weapon. When I prefer Armageddon at the second I step in, you know I'm betting that she reckon I'm a grabber by the neck and catch a murder on my record. Shit and hate for the record. She really Eminem vibes, yes. Switch it up, bitch. I already took the blades off. I'm gonna tell you when the motherfucking blades are. Look at how we both go running for the same car. Crazy as shit, I can't even quit it cause Bay got me whipped Down by the bay, I was smoking a zip She came behind me and I heard the clip She coming back with a load of mag She coming back but I'm over that All of them stacking, I know the stat Been through enough, I ain't going back oh, Look at the way I've been fishing that slow down right I'm there. reeling the crazy ass bitches They get what they want and they dipping Fire. They getting me in yeah, a submission NF. I saw, me I saw. in a position where I lost my trust And I don't think I'll fix it Never had luck when it comes to this shit And I never gave up yet But this time I'm thinking like Screw this, cause this new chick Always telling me I'm really fucking useless I'm about to lose it, do something stupid I don't know what's too far, but she's ruthless Bitch is a witch with a broomstick She casting a spell on me, catching a felony it's Actually insane. held on me, losing myself Losing my faith, I can't do this I can't do this I can't do this, can't do this, can't do this, can't do this. Picking me up and that I don't know what sound that is, but it's dope. I love stuff that that um it takes these these random I don't even know what the sound is. Whatever it is, uh it just add, it's like a it's like a a, <laughs> a demon robot is breathing or something. Um right there, let me go back. Can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. Picking me up and I'm feeling myself. Stuff? Bringing me down till I'm killing myself. Never been one to be full of myself. Cinematic Just know when I'm gone that you couldn't have helped. Picking me up and then bringing me down. She get in my head that she kicking me out. Think I've had enough, so I'm looking around. Picking me up and then bringing me down. She get in my head that she kicking me out. Think I've had enough, so I'm looking around. Thought I had enough, but she look what I found. What are you doing? Get out of my house. You cheated, you bitch. I don't want you around. I'd be a lot better if you left the town. I'd be a lot better if you were not found Try this again, but it'll not work I give you my heart, this shit'll Too get much. burnt If I'm coming back, you treat me like dirt But more like a diamond is what I am worth Terminate you like Arnold Even if you turn, bitch, I know It wouldn't work, cause I'm in Side of the church, Carnals Is this the one from San Diego? Oh. 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 I don't think I have any constructive criticism for that. I don't I don't think I have any. Um that was that was expertly produced mixed mastered engineered all that good stuff recorded written definitely gave nf slash eminem vibes but when i say that kind of stuff i don't mean like oh you sound just like like it, it it it's more so an inspired sound but it's still very much these artists you know um i think that's very important to note like anytime i say that because i hate when people say oh you're the next bruno mars you're the next Michael. I don't want to be the next blank. I want to be the first legend. So when I say it's like gave me those vibes, it literally just means I gave me those vibes, which is a very good thing. Um, but it's still very much you. There's not a lot of people making this kind of music. And I love this kind of stuff so much. Like this is the kind of stuff I want to put on my gaming channel. I made one video. I've been like doing a lot, a lot of live streaming, but I made one actual video for the gaming channel where I did like the cinematic music and things like that. Yeah, um, and even on my regular channel, this channel, like when I get back into doing traveling musician or the other artistic things I want to do, I want to put this kind of music in there. Um, all kinds of music, really. But this was dope. It was it was really dope.
<laughs> it was really dope. I, I don't have anything negative to say. I don't. Um, so let me go back to, up. Oh, there goes the cops. The coppers. Uh, we already listened to Kevin. We listened to Chico. We listened to Taurus. All right, so I'm all caught up. Good stuff. Good stuff. I think I'm all caught up. <laughs> Let me refresh just to make sure. Come on, buddy. Refresh, buddy. Yeah, I'm all caught up. So, so how 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 is how is folks doing? That was awesome. That was awesome. Take a little take a little breather after these. I'd be getting nervous about that, John. I'd be like, I still got the stuff in my fridge in my freezer. Do they go bad? I know you're supposed to keep them in there, but I think if they're dry, they last longer. I, I've had them for quite some time. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna Google it. I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to. Oh dang, we just got a, we just got another one, another one. Another one. Do you have a drummer? No, I don't. I need one. I had one back in like 2010. <laughs> Thank you, Shayla. Shayla, Sha, Sha. I, okay, okay. It's not Shayla. It's Shalia. Yeah. That's literally how it's spelled. Every time I see it, I think I see the first three letters, and I just assume I shouldn't. I'm always a big one about telling other people not to assume things, and then here I am assuming. Just read the name, clown. Um, transformed as a. They're in bottles in the dark that last a long time. Psilocybin. Vulnerable to the ravages of time because of the fragility of the organic matter in which they live. They are there are stabilizers in the organic material that keep the stuff uh, intact, but when the organic material breaks down and the stabilizers go bad, that leaves the component open to oxidation. Wait, so what? It just won't have any kick. Okay, 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 okay. So if I did take it and it was bad, it would just have no kick. Right? Yeah, most of the time, old D word. I don't know if I'm gonna get demonetized just lose their purity, it's rare that they become dangerous. Okay, so we're good, we're good, we're good. Looks so beautiful, what are you talking about? Sorry, I had to do my research. <laughs> uh, I just wrote you an I, oh, you wrote somebody else. Bye Legend, I'm going, hope you all the best, thank you so much. Legend is an instrument all by himself. I am? <laughs> I can't read the music review rules. That light throws off the words on the screen. Look, they're on my face now. Check it out, can you read them now? Can you read them now? Is that big enough for you? How's that looking? Is it fine? <laughs> <laughs> basically you have to super chat or you have to go to my website which is linked right there there's no free reviews send me the link or send the song that's all it is there's no free reviews if somebody else wants to pay for you they can do that too that's that's happened before um i don't like this placement it's in the way 
I have to keep my lights on. I'm sorry. My lights have to stay on. Let's just make it smaller so you can see it even less. I just want it on my face. All right. Top right. I would do top right, but I would have to shift it to the right. Right now, it's all... You see how this line right here... Where is it at? It shifted that way. Sorry. So I got to put it here. Dropping it one more. Uh, what are you curious about, E3? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay. So... We don't have any reviews. Actually, no, we did. We we just we literally just got one. We literally just got one. So let's go check that out right now. Let me refresh this buddy boy over here. And let's turn off Lo-Fi Girl. I literally just did this. Just open it up, buddy. This one's called Love Me Figuratively. That's the only, I, I don't know if it says anything after that, but that's the name I see. Let's go. Whoa. Yeah. You said you would give me all your love, wouldn't have to cry. Spend a lonely night unless you was at the I love that beat. Oh. Okay, so before you even started talking about what you knew, honey, and all that stuff, and the the way that the beat is laid out, and the way that you came onto that beat, I already knew it was on some like I don't want to say revenge because I haven't heard the full song, but it's on some like don't f with me vibes. That's what it's sounding like, and I like it because the beat is very much like that kind of tone. I like it. Baby, I'm gonna be gone at the rate that you're going, baby, it won't be long. Uh -huh. Believe me, you gon' need me. You wanna taste no flavors. Yeah. Lately, you've been on that behavior. Yeah. You got a new friend, that's where you've been. Stop lying. You only love me figuratively. In your speech, not your actions. Can you tell? Tell me what happened. After chance, what a shame. You wanna move like this? I can get up out your space and I do it real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gon' see it's what like, it feels to lose a love like me. Mm. Come and remember everyone's name. Tryna play Ooh. me out with your silly games. Oh, no, no, no. You only let me see. Karma remembers everyone's name. Everyone. <sighs> Karma don't forget. Karma don't forget. What you do to other people will come back around to you, buddy. Karma don't forget. It can't. It's karma. That's the whole point of it. I, I love, I love just the rawness. I also love how old school it sounds, but it's still modern. Just, just like the last one that you sent in. I remember. Like. It's classic, but it's current. In your speech, not your actions. Can you tell this reminds me of... Do you know? Do you know? More or less. I can say without a doubt, I give you my best. So it would really be a shame for me to sit here stress. Loving you through the bull, putting up what a fool, what a fool, babe. Only love so long. Until you can't be blind. Like, this sounds like something that... that I could hear in like the early 2000s, like most Def is popping, the rapper, and he would be on this song. Or let's say it's 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 now modern times. Most Def makes a comeback. He gets on a song like this because it's very much that era, but it's still now. I love when when people can make music that pays homage or has elements of the past like Bruno Mars, but it's still current. They make it, they modernize it. So I'm feeling like you're, you're kind of modernizing that era of 
Because I, I got to say something. The early 2000s, late 90s, early 2000s, music was never bigger than it was. I mean, like, it's big now. I get it. Drake exists, Kanye, all these people that are doing crazy numbers and streaming. But, like, if we're talking superstardom, like NSYNC, um, DMX, he was monstrous back then, uh, selling millions of copies in the first week. So that's why I have a, an appreciation for people who can kind of pay homage to that that era because it was it was literally the biggest era in music, I think, personally, in terms of like, at least how music used to be consumed. Can you imagine selling like two million records in a in a week? These days, it's considered good to do 100,000. People are physically buying your two million copies, million copies. Sorry, let me just play the song. Wrong key, wrong ma I have two mice here, I clicked the wrong one. I won't force a welcome looking for you in nowhere. Hope you have a good time. Love requires patience, but my red a long time ago. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to keep going so I could hear a rap. <laughs> Wait, let me see. Is, is this working? I, I have to play. I'm just inspired. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Preferences. What is it? General? Audio. Ah, here we go. Evo. I got you. There we go. I'm on it. I'm on it. There we go. It's too... I don't know what that was. I had, I just had to do it. I had to do it to him. We work off the inspiration on this channel. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Sorry. Can you tell? Tell me what has happened. 
All right. Anyway, anyway, sorry. It's fun. It's fun. It's just, it's just fun. It's just fun. I, I have to chase it. I ha I'm a rabbit. I, I follow the white rabbit, like in the Matrix. You guys remember that movie? Please tell me you saw the Matrix. Follow the white rabbit. It's like you go down the the rabbit hole, like Alice in Wonderland. You explore the curiosity. See where it takes you. Don't be afraid. This is like getting really spiritual for no reason. Actually, everything has a reason, sorry. Okay, this thing, this thing. Pineapple Express is no joke. <laughs> Golly gee, first stream back, what is going on? Okay. Um, Added careful to my Spotify. Heck yeah, that's dope. Love this collab we have going right now. Oh yeah, the Matrix series is one of my favorites of all time. Pfft. You know what's really dope and really underrated about the Matrix series is even people who've seen the Matrix haven't seen the Animatrix, which is like the anime official like spinoff stories of the Matrix. It's so sick because it's different styles of art. I actually kind of, I kind of want to watch it while I'm kited, because I feel like I would have a totally different like experience watching it. It's already really dope. Like there's like one about a runner whose leg like explodes, his muscles you know they deform, but like he's still able to win. The, it's crazy stuff. And then there's another one. Uh, I'm not gonna get into it. I'm going down a rabbit hole right now. Sorry, my apologies. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Ah, oh, man. Let me play this song. Let me see what's going on with this. Is it going to work? Yeah. Lay back in the bed. Oh, that's the old one. Okay. Let's go, let's go. I'll think with the head between my legs, just like Mama said. Not to. Woo! I'll give you the brain. Uh. I'll give you everything you wanted. I'll make you say my name. Uh. Yeah. No man can do the same that I did under the sea. San Diego San Juan of the Yayo Superman here can't save her That's why I moved out to Toronto Right here, here like you, we can got a light skin friend Look like Michael Jackson And I hope you know that I'm about that action when I
what what do I even say to that? What do I say? It's not even finished. And I feel like, yo, I, I could put this out tomorrow and it hit. It's not even done. But even as is, ugh, disgusting. You nasty boy. You made something incredible. Incredible. <laughs> what am I talking about? Okay, so we got another submission. Um, <laughs> from Chica. Dang, okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. This one is called uh, Last Supper Praying, and this is a rough demo. Last Supper Praying. Let's go. I heard warning signs from the whisper that I didn't believe. I should be the bigger person and let it go and leave. One star, you'll know. I won't be b b b b praying One star, you know Yo. You won't be b b b b praying b b b b praying This But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on Before, before this, whatever happens next I, I just have to say, so this is just like the last one, this is giving me heavy like Kanye vibes, but like Yeezus, um, where it's like very minimal production and and vocals, but it's a it's effective, and especially I know it's a rough demo, so you haven't like done everything, you know, but like I I'm imagining like some kind of with with what the drum is doing like some like the cinematic stuff that you had on the last one just like something heavy and like a like a trailer movie hit if I, you should know what i mean by i you know in these trailers like transformers like like something like that. oh my gosh this is so embarrassing um i feel like a, a little kid trying to explain his toys but that, with what's going on here, those those hard hits, duh, 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 uh, uh, and then the vocals just like doing what they're doing. Oh yeah, it, it's just Jesus. It feels very Jesus. I don't see reality. I won't believe. You go like distort these vocals a little bit, uh, or add like octaves. That's the drum right there. Uh -uh. Hey! Yes! Oh! Okay. 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 I. I. Oh. <laughs> I see. I. Okay. 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 That's different. That's. I see why. Wow, I see why you kept it minimal at first. Like no, none of those hard drums. You saved it until the end, which made the build way more effective. So, yeah, scratch, scratch what I said. That was wait. I gotta go back to that yell. Hold on, hold on a second. That was trippy. Still going, still going. <laughs> oh, it's so. It's like if you, if you, maybe it's because I'm, <laughs> I'm just a little, a little titty bit high right now. Um, maybe it's because because of my heightened senses or whatever. When I'm following the yell, it's like I'm falling into. <laughs> I don't know, like this psychedelic cave of. <laughs> that's all. That's the only way I know how to explain it. Just li just listen to the just listen to the scream and listen to the reverb of that scream for as long as you can hear it, and watch where it takes you. That's why I love it so much. It just keeps going. It doesn't cut off on a beat. It just keeps going. Wait. What you say? <laughs> S 
so expensive. And then that, oh, it's good, it's good. It's all right, it's good. It's great, clearly. <laughs> Pop a, a trap? Lana Del Rey vibes, White Pop is singing. What are you guys talking about? I don't know what you're. T <laughs> what did I miss? Horror movie? What is white pop? Makes me think of the movie Get Out. Yes, yes, yes. That's that's what it makes me think of. It makes me think of like the scene or the the shot rather of the dude just falling. What was it called? Into the not the nether that's minecraft what is it called um the other side the the what is it called the upside down no that's that's uh stranger things the sunken place <laughs> there's so many places when you think about it why are there so many places i just named like six different places in hollywood okay anyway the sunken place that's what it reminds me of. That scene. Ah! And then it's just like. Whew. That would be sick to hear like something like this in a Jordan Peele movie. You know how sick that would be. I could see that. I could see that. I love how I have these little connections. Like when I hear you guys' songs, I can hear them in specific like scenarios or performed in specific stadiums or playing on certain movies. Like, I don't know why my brain just takes me there, but it's, I guess it's just because of how good your your music is. And what, this is why I like listening to your stuff. It's so, it's so dope. There's so many places. Any idea how to finish it? Um, I liked where it was going at the end. So like, that, boom, 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 boom. Keep that, keep that going. Boom, 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 boom. Let that, uh, Hit fade, keep the boom, 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 boom going throughout the whole time until it like starts playing by itself. Just the drum. And then you can even end it there, I would say, just like with the lone drum and have it be short. Or you could start to introduce and fade in some other kind of like weird binaural, whatever that thing's called, sound. That's just like a constant. Let me get you an example. Sometimes I play them uh, before my streams. Something like... Like, and just fade it out like that. Or have it do the, like these little subtle changes. Boom, 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 boom. And you could just, just let it hover, you know? Sometimes, okay, in songs, peaks are great, valleys are great. You wanna feel lows and highs, but sometimes the song's purpose is just about hovering, vibing, what we like to call it. So we're not party, yeah, and we're not like, I'm gonna go to sleep. We're like in between. Let me just exist. So this could be one of those songs. You just make it hover, something like this. Boom, 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 boom. 
as it ends because you already had the build up and, and, and all the crazy sounds and everything unexpected and then just end it with two chords and the and fade it out very subtly you could turn your nano leaf lights on <laughs> that's sick ugh This song, here, I'll put the link here. This I listened to this, some, like not this particular uh, video, but just different videos on this channel. Um, Cause it's like these subliminal audio. I know it sounds really kooky and weird and oh my gosh, she's getting brainwashed. No, it's, it's, they give you the affirmations that they're saying so it says like this one's about lucid dreams and like hidden in the, in the audio is stuff it's stuff like i am in full control of this dream i can con uh dream about wherever i want to go positive experience like positive stuff basically then they have other ones where it's like i'm going to succeed at everything and you know all that kind of stuff or um so i listen to them kind of like as an asmr with the rain playing in the background i also get like this rain one where it's just the rain. It's actually this one right here. I don't know why I'm telling you my sleep <laughs> pattern, but I play the rain, I play the little positive subliminal thing, I go to sleep and I'd be waking up kind of feeling fresh, you know? Um, but like, that's why I think it, it would be dope to end your song with something like that. Yeah, I don't, sorry, I just went on a huge tangent. I think I lost like 10, 15 viewers. <laughs> this is this is what we do. Nah, it's not bad. Stranger Things vibe, exactly. How are you guys doing? How were these last four weeks for you? Um, do you guys believe in in astrology? Do you do you? believe in mercury retrogrades and all kinds of retrogrades are we are we thinking it's kooky and i'm not saying what you should believe i'm just curious been good oh you gotta go ah oh, dang okay no worries don't be afraid to explore my other music bruh it's a vibe my friend wrapped it tight in a bow <laughs> random bye um yeah so we do we, we we've been okay everybody been holding up pretty well you know yes no maybe so the mercury micro braids didn't affect me too <laughs> micro braids super productive i was not productive at all i was productive in getting rest actually no i wasn't because i was still trying to fix computers and stuff when i was supposed to be resting some days i didn't do squat like two days maybe but all the other days i was literally trying to sort this stuff out when i probably should have been doing nothing um deuces but yeah, so I've been productive in not being productive. I'll look at it like that. I've been a mess, but that's my life right there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it sounds pretty accurate. I think that's a lot of people's lives right now. Who is this? Who's Joshua? What is the mix and master? Oh no, they bought my, my get out beat. I'm gonna play that beat right now because it's it was. Do I even have it on here? Get out! Get out right now! <laughs> this one right here. My computer's not authorized. You must authorize this computer before you can. Bruh, come on, bruh. I 
I forgot about that. This is a brand new computer, man. I can't even play my own music. How do I authorize it? What? I'm so confused. Account authorizations. There we go. Is a good boy. Okay, sorry. They make things so difficult. Yeah. To authorize a computer, you must first deauthorize one of the other computers. So how do I do that? Ugh, this is so annoying. I hate this stuff. Okay, anyway. I just wanted to play my music. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> Sometimes there's productivity in not being productive. I know. I That's something I learned. Um, in the last two weeks, most definitely. Listen here. <laughs> I learned a lot in the last two weeks. Rest is a part of work <laughs> for me. I, I can't, you know, I can't function without rest, I realized. Yo, what is that? <laughs> Five computers are authorized to play content purchased with this Apple ID. I have to deauthorize them all. Are you sure you want to deauthorize all your current? Yeah, sure. I'll just do them all later. You stupid. So annoying, man. Just let me play my music. Account authorizations. Authorize this computer. Authorize. Golly gee, man. Why is there more people? Oh, oh, I wasn't even trying to play that beat. Hey, 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 I just want to. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, exactly. I use samples from that song. From Full Moon and What About Us. I put Jesse J, Timbaland, Beyonce, Jay Z, Take a Light Be on here. Yes. Hey. <laughs> it's just. This is when I first learned about sampling and when I first started upping my production game because, like, it was made early in the early days of my production career. And this is still hitting, but I was basically like repurposing drums, drum loops from certain songs and putting them with other ones. And then the loops within that song, I was like just chopping them and flipping them to do what I wanted them to do. So I was like sampling instrumentals rather than sampling like vocals on an instrumental. And I made like these Frankenstein songs. This is how I started learning production. Okay. <laughs> that I kind of want to record like a reference to that. I don't know. But this is the one I was trying to play. This is my... Michael Jackson, Beat It sample. Kendrick Lamar, Kid Cudi, Wizard, Big Sean. Lil Wayne, nah. Get some Kid Cudi. Oh. 
Ahoy! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Uh, 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 Right here, here. Right here, right here. I always thought this is one of my best like early beats I've ever made. Every time these artists come to me for like beats and stuff, I'm like, I'm gonna send them this one. They're surely gonna love it. Like big artists too. It's like they they pass on it. And I'm like, <laughs> I feel like it's so good. So I'm trying to see what I can make out of it. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. What else we got in here? What are the kind of beats we got in here? I cannot play. I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna. How do you do shuffle? There we go. Oh, this one I made for Jesse J. What's up? I was trying to get Jesse J on this. With my one connect. Jesse J featuring Bruno Mars, Bruno Mars featuring Jesse J. I should also say this is kind of how I vibe out. Like I have five, like 500,000, 1500, whatever beats I have not used. They're just stuff I've made over the last whatever years. And sometimes when I don't want to make a new beat, I just go to my well here and I play them and I, and I try to envision who I can imagine on it. And then I'll make a song for myself based off of those things. So kind of like what I'm doing now, if I wanted to record something right now to this beat, I could. I have all the ideas. I still want to try to get Jesse J on this though. Mark Ronson and Bruno Mars. I wrote their names specifically. Yeah. I do. I have everything. There you go. This was Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, maybe Miguel, Chris Brown, maybe. I actually, 
produce this for the, the German Justin Bieber. His name was Lucas Riger. I made this beat when I started this channel on a truck. I made this beat on a truck while I was starting this channel for this artist who was playing in front of tens of thousands of people. He's got like two million Instagram followers now. And I was, I was executive producing his album, but then they disappeared. <laughs> I still... What can you do? That was, it was gonna be my biggest deal. And I, I wasn't charging as much as I probably should have, but I was like, yeah, $12,000 for, um, it was like eight tracks or whatever. And I was like, plus, uh, I think it was like a 50% sale on all, you know, like guaranteed 12,000 and 50% of all the sales, just so that I know I can cover my costs. Um, and we signed a contract and everything. And so I was so excited because I, I was thinking, bruh, truck driving was nice. It was fun. But obviously, I didn't want to do it for the rest of my life. So I was like, this is good, what's going to get me off of this truck. So I was up while the truck, my, I was team driving with my brother. So he would be driving. Sometimes I would pull out my keyboard and my MacBook, and I'd be making beats while the truck is in motion. Other times, I'd be the one driving. And when we had like a blizzard in, in New Jersey, I remember one time we blew a tire out, pulled over on the side of the road. I pulled out the keyboard, set it on top of the steering wheel, pulled out my MacBook, and I'm making beats for the channel. I, I'm making beats for this artist because I'm like, I'm grinding. I'm about to get out of here. <sighs> but then they just stopped returning my messages and then made a new group and then I had to hunt people down. Then they didn't want to pay me nothing. They. I wrote, a, I wrote the first single for the guy. I wrote and produced it and recorded the reference vocals, everything. And then they recorded their version based on what I sent. And he performed it in front of like 10,000 Germans in some arena show because he was on The Voice in Germany. And I'm like, bro, yes, you know, it's dope, man. We're going places. And I'm glad I'm a part of it. And then like, Two months later, no nothing, no calls, no money, no no recognition, no produced by, nothing. So I put my bootstraps on and they had a contract. I, you know, back then I was just too trusting of people. Um, they never sent me a completed version of the contract, so I never had one a version with their signature. So I, there's nothing I could do legally either. I did message them, but they said something about the label shutting down and all that crazy stuff. But then I see folks going on these extravagant tours and stuff. Anyway, say all that to say... I, I know this one song inspired all this, but uh, that wasn't the way for me, nor was American Idol, nor was The Voice, nor was any of that stuff. But then lo and behold, the very channel that I started while I was doing this truck driving is the one that's building somewhat of a legacy. You know? it, that's why I think it's important to follow just things as they flow. Don't try to force them. If bad stuff happens what can you do with it? it already happened so you just got to keep pushing the same way that you would have if the thing never happened in the first place the past is the past the now is the now ah what time is it <laughs> is what free how do you upload your music to Spotify and Apple Music? Use, there's a link in my description, Distro Kid. Use the link, I'll get a little kickback. Yeah, he disappeared. Excuse me, then they unfollowed me on Instagram.
<laughs> and that was around the same time that Johnny Orlando, who was also one of those young Justin Bieber kind of guys, he was making covers on YouTube, used a lot of my instrumentals, two of them. Um, at the time, he got like a couple million views. They were selling the song with my beat. I wasn't seeing a dime. Now he's got like five million followers and he was on Genius. <laughs> I built your career, sir. <laughs> That's not like me trying to be petty or, you know, trying to take credit. I don't care, man. What happened happened, but it's also like, if people knew what I was responsible for, I don't like to talk about this stuff because I don't want people to think I'm like bragging or like I'm trying to take credit for somebody else's success. But August Alcina wouldn't have 5 million views on a song if it wasn't for my beat that he stole. <laughs> 5 million. People love the, they don't, they didn't say, oh, we only love the vocals. They say we love the song to which half of that is the music to which I produced. So it's an honor to be recognized, even if the people don't even know who I am. They know it sounds good, but it's when I try to take credit is when, oh, now I'm corny. Well, you keep, I'm the corny one, but you keep on playing that song that I produced because that shows me you really love me. <laughs> I have an attorney, I didn't have one back then. I've gotten one since then. Some guy at the beginning of the year was talking about he was going to sue me for $3,000 because I mixed and mastered his music. And um, he said it took too long, even though in his order he said, I have no deadline, just whenever. <laughs> so I have that in writing. But... I just think it's funny, like the, the the larger you get, the more kooks you get, like <sighs> there's I have a lot of stories. Sold my first beat with an artist for $175. Your first beat you sold for $175? Bruh, you know how much I sold my first beat for? It was probably like 20 bucks. I thought I was rolling back then. $175 for your first beat, you're, that's a good start. That's how you know later on you'll be able to charge um, fair, fair prices. Because it's hard to come up when you start so low. Like, oh, buy my beat for $10. Then all these dudes who've been buying beats from you for $10 for 10 years, once you want to raise that to 50, they're like, you changing on me, bro? You, you quintupling the price to $50? Like, it's hard to come up because people are so used to it. But when you come out the gate swinging 175 for a beat sold, oh yeah, you good. You good. Congrats, man. <laughs> Congrats. Need something. I need something. Is It is for free. I don't know what you're talking about. That's okay. Your time's coming. People can get away with the bad things they do only but a while your blessing will come i truly believe that and i thank you for that for both the super chat and the message um the blessings i think are coming and they are materializing currently um some of them it's just it's it's taking a while to build and i'm a strong believer that a, if it takes longer to build a solid foundation that won't topple I would much rather prefer that than a quick skyrocket up. Let's build a skyscraper in 20 days. Because yeah, you can reach higher heights in a faster amount of time the second way. But how long are you going to last <laughs> before you topple over? Solid foundation, you get to the same place, it just takes a little longer. So that's why I do believe all these things haven't come to fruition from these different things like people producing or taking my productions uh what's that other guy stormzy he was another one uh kirko bangs and stormzy's a big deal and he's a big deal in the uk and he used my beat and he didn't give me credit um 
Oh, I feel like if <laughs> I'm going to end up on like the shade room or something talking about this stuff. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I forgot. Sometimes I forget, like, I'm not big, big, but I'm big enough, I guess. I don't even want to get into that. Um. So is it best to sell outright or leasing? Well, it depends. Um, Selling exclusively, you can get a lot more money right up front you sell a beat for five i do my exclusives right now i'll probably raise the price eventually because i've had this price for forever for my beats but that's because i don't really market my beats so people don't buy them but um five hundred dollars for exclusive boom you pay it all right there up front 500 exclusive leasing i do like 50 bucks i don't do 25 dollars mp3 and all that stuff i do 50 bucks for just a wave file the $50, I can sell however many times I want. So if you have a client base where they want to lease a bunch of beats from you constantly, leasing might be a better option for you because you can sell them multiple beats over a longer period of time and you make the same, if not more, money. Uh, exclusive beats, when you sell those, it's like one and done, kind of. You don't have to do as much work but you do have to get somebody who was willing to pay those higher prices. If you have that client base, then exclusives are better for you. You can do both, but you know, your focus should be on one. Yep. I don't understand the leasing. So leasing is basically, you know how you lease a car, right? Um, you don't own the car. You just get to borrow it <laughs> for a month or whatever. So my lease, and leasing terms are different for whoever, whatever produces. But for me, when I lease my beats, they can use the song for promotional use only. They can't post it on streaming sites. They can't sell it on their own website. They can't put it anywhere where it's gonna generate money, not on YouTube, they can't monetize. That's my leasing terms. They can release the beat, but it can't be on a project. It's purely for promotion. Um, other people, they do like, oh, you can lease the beat and for every like 300 downloads, you have to lease it again. That, I don't know how to keep track of, so that's why I don't bother with that stuff. But leasing, the artist who buys that lease generally doesn't, can't put that song on streaming platforms, they can't release it, they can't do anything like that because, you know, generally. That's the, that's the perk of an exclusive because it's exclusive to you, nobody else can buy it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ford, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Oh, I made this one for Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, Justin Bieber, Coldplay, Imagine Dragons. I, Imagine Dragons on the second verse, yeah. This is actually another one that I wrote for Lucas. I could probably find you the actual song light speed lovers look at this I, this is this is one of the songs i wrote for the the german now this is a reference so and i recorded this on a truck <laughs> there are times in life when you meet someone 
I was like 23, I think. Yeah. I didn't say how long ago that was. Where time and space are oh, slow. slow down. So this is the kind of song I could imagine. It could be Coldplay singing it. It could be a pop dude singing it. Because if with Coldplay, they would kind of like tone down the synth maybe. Oh, fear's gone. And a play. You know, Chris Martin's voice. Where time and space are slow down. And then. And Usher vibe. Yeah. And then this part. Where you know. Truck music, yeah. I could. Music to play in your semi. <laughs> Definitely Coldplay. It just needs that that live like. Now this sounds like Imagine Dragons right here. That's definitely Col uh, Imagine Dragons, yeah. What if Imagine Dragons and Coldplay did a collab? You know how dope that would be. I'm going to. Harmonies. Then the chorus comes in because there's no chorus yet right here i love the chorus one two three hey Like light speed lovers. It's like when my heart starts beating, heart starts beating. I can feel it and I get lifted. Now we're living like light speed lovers. Traveling through space at light speed. I wrote this completely sober. Heart starts beating. I get lifted and I can feel it. Now we're living like light speed lovers, light speed lovers at the light speed. One, two, three, hey! Yeah, so anyway, I totally forgot I made that, that song for him. I totally forgot. I kind of want to look at the other ones. I have a whole, a whole uh, album here. Oh, hands in the air, bro. Wait, did I, I don't know if I recorded vocals to this yeah. sorry i'm just go play feature usher would it be dope that'd be pretty dope i didn't stack because it was just a reference um it was just something to, to show them the idea no you have to leave why do you have to leave This is supposed to be like the club banger of the album. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, uh, what's the lyrics?
Okay. Like an hour, hour and a half. I'm trying to remember the lyrics. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Put your hand. I was thinking stadium when I made this. Stadium. That's the unfinished version. The, uh, the finished version has like a, a change. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This, okay, so there's like a change. It kind of reminds me of like a VC or something like that. Kind of. Just the, the progressions. I was trying to throw my hat in the pop, the, the real poppy realm. Because this was meant to be a single too. like very much like Justin Bieber what he's doing now or no for purpose this is what I would made before that album even came out slow ah okay no worries That's so good. The Heat, this one's called The Heat. They wanted something that sounded like Jason Derulo's Wiggle. Let me see if it plays. Is it gonna play? I don't know if it's gonna play. Oh, don't tell me it's... Dang, that would suck. Maybe if I download it. This one. All right, so we we might we might mess around and record some reference vocals to to you know one of these songs maybe. I don't really like that one. This one, grown. This was meant to be kind of like a, yeah, that matters to me. That was the influence because it was very much in that era. It was like something like baby girl, baby girl, da, da, da. Uh, um, baby. Uh, I, okay, so so he was he was fresh into his adulthood. So the point of this song was to be like, I'm an adult now, so I, now I can put the moves on you. Like I'm 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 18, 19, and uh, that means I'm grown. It was it was very much meant to be in line with what Justin was doing at the time, with with. Uh, that one song. What was it called? Oh, uh, All That Matters. All That Matters. Um, and then the album after that. But yeah, so he was like, yeah, 
Um, and I know, and I know that we're young, but tonight, girl, you know I'm taking you home. We'll be all on our own, making love like we grown. Like <laughs> something, it was something like that. I didn't, I never fleshed out the lyrics of the second half, but it was tight. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, um, this other one is not going to, I don't think it's going to play. It's just, yeah. Flow like water, what is this? Ugh. All right, that's, that's going to get on my nerves. Um, <laughs> just woke up, I figured. You should check that email because he just made a song from scratch too. Well, what does that mean? Am I supposed to check people that make songs from scratch? Is that what we're doing today? I thought I said I was reviewing music and, and making music. I didn't say I was looking at... <laughs> Here, play this. It slaps. <laughs> I thought I would get him famous. Bruh, I can't do this. That's cheating. Sorry. If you if the 20 uh 25 come through, I'll play it. Eminem vibes, please play the monster. Nah, I'll get copyright and all that stuff. I can't play that. Let me see. Um, yeah, I don't like how it does. It's not playing my music, man. It's it's screwing up. Baby. Okay, no, <laughs> I'm not doing that. Mystical. Oh, this is the first beat I ever made in Machine. Back in like 2011. This is the very first beat I ever made. I didn't even have to take time to learn it. That's why I'm like, I made this in like 30 minutes. Oh yeah, I'm leaving FL Studio behind for this. And these were stock sounds, all stock sounds. Neo. I put the weekend, yeah, the weekend, the 80s vibe. Like, you know what I mean. <laughs> That's fast vibrato. And then that thing he that 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 trill he does. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, that was flat. Oh, oh, oh. I'm I can't do it. It's too fast. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this. trying to get I was trying to get an official remix for Ryan Leslie he had this thing called the Black Phoenix Beat Club I don't know if it's, it still exists but you could submit tracks to be on his albums I think like two or three people got picked um, so I was like 
I sent original stuff too. Get Out was one of them. Um, and Mystical, I think. The one I just played. But then I also, I think I had this one uploaded as well to get like a remix, which never happened. They did like some of my beats though. I'll play the next one that they liked. Oh, yeah, hey. Ah, it's too good. The one that they almost, almost played or, or or took for his album was this one they were like oh yeah let's get a second call and see if if you can uh make some changes to it it was called holiday i don't know why i call it holiday actually no there's a billy holiday sample in there Very much like Amelie. This was early 2010s. Amelie, 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 Amelie. That's why it has that influence. Huh. So anyway, <laughs> he said a rat a tat. We got a thing. This was a really weird one. I still wanna, I wanna make something to this. I don't know what it would be. It'd be something just super weird. I've never wrong that no. Uh, it's really off kilter. I just want to uh to if it did it but the ill to ever to keep the ill to a like a like uh whatever that that's in my past the buzzard uh sepity kibbity kibbity uh uh yeah how about I say but uh sepity but uh Come on, then that's smiley. Oh, just it's so weird. Like, follow that and how that bear. Low, low, take him low, take him low. Yeah, I get ready, be ready, be. I get ready, I'm on it, man. I just gotta get my back. Yeah, ah, 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 I just don't know, Lee. Lee. No, 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 don't touch my pockets, man. That's my wallet. Uh, what do you want? Uh, a Rolex? Uh, <laughs> how do I talk about getting the bag when I just want to be a. Uh, 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 yeah. So, this is how I come up with ideas. I just go through my catalog and I just play stuff. Um, if you don't have a catalog, I don't know what to tell you, but, or you can just go on YouTube and find stuff and then find something later that, somebody that can produce it for you. I was very much into like this alternative, just experiment with random soundscapes. Wait, when did this, when did I make this? Probably like... 2012. I, 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 I,
was uh, I put the weekend. I put I think Frank Ocean, Drake. That's when the weekend comes in. I know. This is the hopeful part. Story, there's no life in me when you're not around me. I, I. Oh, that's so sick. Because I called the beat Toy Story and I was just vibing right now. And I was like, my life is like a Toy Story. I'm not alive when. Wait, I'm. I'm. No, no, it, it would have to be a reverse Toy Story. Like a. Because you would be alive when that person is around versus an actual Toy Story. They have to play dead. My life is like a first toy story when you're not around. I'm not alive. When you're not around, I'm not alive. You might feel alive. Of cracking. See right there, I can't. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <coughs> that made it worse. And then just like vibe out with like some echoes. Ugh, man, what was I thinking back then? I love how experimentative, is that a word? I was. Experimentative. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> This is another beat. Experiment with like flips. <laughs> hey, he, he, he's a, uh, he's a, why not, why not? That's the whole gag. That's what I said. Everybody says I look like The Weeknd. That's why I started singing like The Weeknd. And then it switches to this. Um, lead me on. This Please is like Jesus, Kendrick Lamar. Lead me home. Or common. I had common. You gotta lead me on to the morning. To the morning light, I know I don't know. Uh, 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 uh. I think people want to see me actually do something instead of just vibe to my tracks. Yeah, because <laughs> I lost like 15 viewers in the last five minutes. It's all it's all good though. Um, dang, these things haven't seen the light of day. Potato, maybe. Hey, 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 uh, 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 u
Yo, my flow is so ridiculous, you like it and Medicine, all that legal cannabis, that's up in my pot You ain't got a pot, take home and you can smell from your black Score these women in one minute, easy carry up for the shot Ah oh, yeah, I put the things in the air When I drop a single, man, it's really like a bear Comment, two Yeezys, that's important to my culture And all these other hatin' Calle de la boca Talk about the year I just had 2016 I started killing everything just went bad It was a summer to forget about I hate you then You said but I remember how I used to love you back then But then the game changed changed in my life I said but I Go! Something like that. Oh. I gotta get that. Never let them Never let them Cry Cause it, I, I could see I wrote this so many years ago Um And it had to do with like a bunch of stuff that was going on With my relationship and, and Life falling apart and all that stuff But also like feeling really like brave And brazen about myself Um but I'm thinking like now if I approach it if I still kept with these lyrics it would be more so like I'm looking back at my old self in the first verse saying dry your eyes dude don't let them don't because the sample is saying never let and then dry your eyes so I'm trying to like figure out a way to, to tie that together but it's it's I think that's the vibe Such is oh wait. It don't it don't Not yet. I gotta write this down. It Thank you. 
I know it's, I'm sorry, I know it's repetitive, I know, I just have to get this idea. It don't matter what they say, it don't matter if they let you down, it won't matter what they say to you, you just won't want to let you. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, I love this. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> So it's like <laughs> talking to myself. It don't matter what they let you down. It won't matter what they said. Dang it! The la <laughs> that that other line was gonna get was gonna say get your bloop together and tell them bloop you. <laughs> Just like man up. Something like that. Okay, that that idea is out. Allow me, and the song, the title of this song, "Allow Me." <laughs> That's what it's called. Allow me. Thanks, babe. I love voice as well. I love your voice. Thank you so much. Where can I find these beats? What? Yo, oh, beats on my computer. <laughs> I still have to upload them to my, my website, but it's a lot of music to upload, so uh, yeah. Wait, 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 is this, uh, it don't, dang it, it, it don't matter when I set you down. No. It don't matter if they said to you now. It ain't you. Faye, though. I'm trying to see if I recognize you, but I can't. Yeah. I can't find your channel. Oh, this was a good one. Is it gonna play? Yes, it is. Oh. All right. <laughs> I don't know if I'll get copy, whatever. I'm gonna try not to. <laughs> Sample. Sorry, that was loud. This is before I knew this was used in Jay-Z's song. I think it was Jay-Z. I'm gonna love you. Oh wait, not yet. I swore this was gonna be a little closer to my shows. I'm gonna love you, baby. I swore this was gonna close my, all my arena shows. Thank you guys, thank you! Thank you!
You know what I mean? When the music is playing and they gotta do all the... Thank you, thank you! Uh, yeah, anyway. I already played that one. Leave a message, what is this? Oh, I remember this. Thank you, thank you very much. My leg is cramping up. Two, three, four, one, two, three, to the three, to the four. Everybody get your on the floor. I just wanna see you open up the door. Who you coming through with? Who the, uh, 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 who the four? You and me? Wait, no, no, no. Ah, I screwed it up. Yeah, you're coming through the door. It's a for me and her, you and her. Uh, I'm not talking, I'm just talking about like a date. Okay, I'm not talking about no foursome. Okay, let's get that out. I don't, <laughs> not, that's what I'm not talking about. Uh, it's basically like, I'm, it's basically like, I don't know why all, my mind is so focused on clubbing. But it, all these songs I've been coming out with, it's like, yeah, we going. It's like about being a confident man in in the club with your girl. And when I was like, yeah, like, like it's in this situation, I was thinking, oh, my friend's got a, a girl he's interested in, and he's bringing her on a date for the first time. So it's like, yeah, okay, come on, man, puff up yourself. Let's get, you know, let's see you coming through the door. It's a fall. Da, 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 da. Like I don't know, it, my mind is just in the club. I don't know why it is. <laughs> I told you on my computer. So simple. Story. When I first revealed my face on this channel, because I spent probably a year or so, um, maybe a couple years, never showing my face, this was the very first video, the song for the video, or not song, but a beat, for a video that I made where I was playing my instruments, doing my performance type thing. Um, so just an interesting thing. This was like my face reveal song. Imagine if you guys didn't know how I looked. <laughs> That'd be so weird. One, two, three, four. There's actually a better version of this. I want to find it. Nobody does it better, better. Ooh, you want to hear the, the one with the vocals? Oh, uh, wait, no, where's the actual one with the vocals? Nobody does it better. <sighs> Do I not have it? It's gotta be, it has to be somewhere. Demo version. Let's be fatal. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, dang it. Okay, anyway, so let me play the actual. That's still not the actual version. What is it called? Bala? There we go. All right. Oh, that's hard. It's a little too hard, <laughs> honestly. This is, I wasn't mixing very well back then.
All right, anyway. Uh, I don't... I, we're just going to chill. We're just going to chill. I literally don't have that much time left. So I'm just going to keep doing this. Um, not going to listen to that again. Is this what I think it is? I believe. Fly away. Oh. I was supposed to, like, try and send this to MMG back in the day. <laughs> Like Rick Ross. Whoa. From the song from the fiddle. Whoa. Rick Ross the most. People said it with the bus, said with the most. Never better, never. You know, the Maybach music. Rolling in the Maserati, not a Lego. Sip a letter born, that's a red we go. I'm rolling up there, pulling with me ghosts. What do we do? That's where we ghost. Ghosting is a phantom. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> we ghosting in the phantom where the little lad and we can't offend the plan to a red mega ride. Uh. Woo! I know how. It's like Rick Ross featuring Justin Timberlake or something. You gotta have somebody sing in here. We roast the roast, we lit the roast. Roast the stuff, grab the boom. All right, who else do I have? DJ Khaled, he's not gonna do nothing. He's gonna yell. I got Wale. I can, I, yeah, Wale could be on here. I hope that's a joke. <laughs> somebody actually told me that, and I'm like, no. <laughs> Cause somebody was like, man, your music would, you would be so much more successful if you make something like Roddy Rich. I'm like, well, that's not what I make. I just make what I feel, man. Ooh. This is me trying to Frankenstein heard him say. I heard him say I put the Jesus Walks thing in there. Well, um, I was just trying stuff, literally. But this is how you explore how to, you know? I reprogrammed the drums, sampled it myself. Your chocolate milk, what? <laughs> All right, next one, Breeze, what is this? Uh, I don't like that one. I already played that one on this channel before. Glorious Say Goodbye, what is that? Uh, no. I'm a champion. No. <laughs> Talk it over, this one's pretty cool. Ah, uh, that's definitely classic uh, Kanye vibes. Ready to make some music? You about to make some music? I ain't gonna know it all. This is inspired by Timbaland, uh, Shock Value Volume 2, I believe. With the morning after, the morning after dark. So shy, Nelly Furtado. So the same when it all goes up. I be the same when it all goes down. And it just run up and it up. I think I actually um, put the vocals on top of it. Morning after. Uh, the morning after dark. Uh, where's my remix? <laughs> you could tell this is like kind of mid 2000s. Like, especially Timbaland. I sampled that sound myself because I knew I wasn't ever going to be able to replicate that. 
It's actually literally in. My, it should be in my sample library. I could try and find it for you right now. No, this is just my native instrument stuff. Um, I gotta make sure I don't lose that stuff. But yeah, I literally have the Timbaland. <laughs> it's so sick. I kind of want to play this um, this song I sampled that I totally flipped. That what is it called? Um, ah, what was it called? Good night, my angel. Time to close your eyes. <sighs> Why don't I have it? These latest rooms. Shadows. This is one of them, but that's not the one. Look at me now. The shadow of the man I used to be. I just, I didn't really sample this very well, but it's a great chord progression. That's a sample right there, I could. You know, there's a different version of this song that I like better. Um, I'm so upset that I can't find this song. I'm trying to remember what album it was on. I might have to Google it. Uh, For the life of me, remember. It's not there. Look at no. But I'm on that song. Oh, I want to play it, but I can't. That's no, no. That's a big no, no. Oh wait, 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 wait. Yes, I found, oh, 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 we, we, we about to go in, we about to go in. I produced this one. Heck yeah, let's go. This is when I was like transcending back in the day. What's up? 
Pardon me. Pardon me, brother. Curtis Mayfield. But let us not be so satisfied. Because tomorrow can be a brighter day. Tomorrow can be a brighter day. Even because I'm so stuck on this like yin yang uh, balance of life right now. I've been studying a lot into that stuff. And I am just now realizing these two projects that I produced these songs on for a different artist. His projects are called Alpha and Beta. A Brilliant Catastrophe Alpha and and a Brilliant Catastrophe Beta. And even Brilliant Catastrophe, it's like two kind of, you know, um... The fact that this, okay, it's definitely speaking to me now. That's literally the vibe I'm on. But I'm only just now getting it. You see? Ugh. It's <laughs> That's great. That's not me, by the way. It's B Slate. Um, if you look up Snoop Dogg's words are few, this is the guy. He man. He hasn't gotten his his due yet, but I think it's it's happening because like all of the the folks who are who are in the industry, they know who he is. They know the work he's done. But in due time, in due time, in due time. I'm just glad that I was a a part of the come up. There's another song. Queen! That's what it is. That's the one I was looking for. Off topic, but what should I do about submitting a request for Mix and Master and didn't get a reply? Uh, Just wait. Because I'm very behind. I'm like three weeks behind. If you haven't paid attention, I've been posting on the channel that my computer has essentially, well, was useless. I couldn't do anything on it. So I spent the last two weeks trying to get that sorted out. And then the week before that, I was working. And now since I'm three weeks behind, I'm three weeks behind on video client work as well as music production client work. So I'm going to get to it. It just takes time. I had one person kind of circumvent the whole process. This is why I do the quotes and then tell people to, you know, pay later because I can like sort it out first. But the guy, he just skipped over the quote and he bought a mix and master. And then like, I'm like, bruh, I didn't even give you like a time frame. I didn't, you know, and then he got mad or not mad, but he like, hey, bro, I'm gonna need a refund. I'm going to somebody else. I'm like, in a time where I just had to come out of pocket to repair this computer, and like people asking for money back, it's so stressful, man. But um, yeah, just patience. That's all. That's all it is. I gotta catch up. I gotta catch up. I'm just now getting my feet back on the ground, but I will. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this other song is really good. 
Oh, wait, do I have... Oh, I don't have the unicorn on here. Dawn of the Unicorn. That one's pretty dope. Black sheep are produced. Let's see. So... That's Timbaland. I still remember Mother's Day. It's a very I don't know if I want to play the whole song. It it's very sad. Our last Mother's Day. We danced our final Actually No, nah, we'll play it we'll play it for Anthony's father and his grandma. This is how we'll we'll celebrate that. I didn't know the circumstance. I felt a difference in your hands. Try and stay with me if you can. I'll understand though if you can. I drove you out to your exam. Waited patiently for your scans First time I ever saw you scared The doctor didn't even care Good night my angel, time to close your eyes And save these questions I don't know if that's gonna... Oh, dang it. Well, it's fine. It's fine. I think I know what you've been asking me. I think you know what I've been trying to say. I promised I, I would, would never leave you. And you should always know. know. I gotta hit it. I gotta hit it. <clears throat> Should always know wherever you may go, no matter where you can't hit that note. I never will be far away. Ah, in an emotional hour of my day. I might, I think, because I see all the like the notifications, but I ha haven't checked into it. But I do think I remember seeing something of the sort um what's the other one i made sunday oh man i remember this you know i made this one too eternity the is a long time and if i gotta go through a little bit down here to have forever up there i'm down and when i get there Everything I went through will be worth it And when I get there The first thing I'm gonna do is go surfing <laughs> And when I get there I'm gonna play a game of tag ah. with my daddy <laughs> And when I get there I'm gonna have some apple pie with my granny Ooh, mommy I can't believe that you can't feel no more pain And ooh, mommy your mansion second floor was on the chain. Oh,
Appreciation for my yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. I have something very, very important that I want to close this concert with tonight. And um, you know, a lot of people don't know where I'm coming from, and they don't know why. They can't understand why I did what I did. But I wrote a song that says. If you don't know what happened, then you won't understand what's happening. But there, there are special people that truly love God, but they have been discriminated ah. against. We're the ones that ah. we never fit into our families. We are the ones that, that never no, dress get like other people. We are the ones that are beautiful people, but we've been terribly misunderstood because sometimes <laughs> we don't even understand ourselves. Whatever. And we didn't ask for what we have. We didn't. We didn't even choose it, as some of you may say. But we were given a cross and a gift, a thorn and a blessing. Sometimes we wanted to just get rid of it all together and prayed about it thousands and thousands of times. Lord, just take it out of me. But I don't know if I have any listeners out there that know that God's grace is sufficient. God's grace is still there for you and it's been nothing but the grace of God that has brought you through the persecution, the name calling, the bashing, the verbal and the physical and mental abuse that has taken place I'm just vibing, I'm just vibing. And so-called friends. Yeah. And how much courage it takes to truly be yourself and walk out in truth. Yes. And so many people today, well, tell them, they want to understand who God is. They want to they want to experience spirituality, but well, 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 because well, of those well, that well, choose well. religion over relationship, they've been discouraged and even deceived into thinking that well, God well, hates well, them. Yeah. But I'm here to let you know that there's a group of us that love God and we are just the way we are. We have chosen not to walk in deception, but we come in truth. For ye shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. And whom the Son has set free is free indeed. And if you are free tonight, I said if you are free tonight, you need to be 
singing this song right here with me. It's pretty simple. It just says, We are the sheep of another fold. Then we must reach out to all souls. To our souls. There is a young man taking pills Cause nobody knows what he really feels He's so afraid God hates him so He was only 17 Only 17 years old, yeah Thank you guys for letting me just chill. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico. Check it out, check it out, check it out. You gotta hear it, you gotta hear it. Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico. Always on the San Diego radio. Played this song in my life. Oh, my God. 
into the stream
<laughs> nah, we gotta end it with this this last song that I produced. Man, we made a lot of hits. Called Flying Kites. I'm gonna quit this. We're gonna end the stream with this one. You went to eat dinner?
shots I feel tipsy Bartender, what the douche you gave to me All my sexy is in the building Get your hands up to the sky, touch the ceiling This one here is for all the grown and sexy When I'm boogieing on the floor, nigga, don't text me You say you want some Uncle Slave, but boy, you mess it Hit the red docket off my jock, you don't impress me Get your hands in the air, if you feel the same And let's put this thing in motion, baby If you got the time, well, I got the place Now show me what you're working with Get your hands up to the sky, touch the 